IGN Game Scoop is brought to you by... Uh, this is... Salem Kazi. Yeah. That's Nailed cool, it. Man. Knocked it out of the park. Home run. <sighs> Have you ever put off playing a game that just never got, or just never got into one because one a-hole of a friend mm. spoiled it for you? For me, it was the Assassin's Creed series. My friends would come discuss the endings just of each game to you over before email. I could even play it. Because <laughs> of this, show. <laughs> because of this, I only started playing the games after Assassin's Creed 3 had come out. Man, you know that Assassin's Creed storyline. <laughs> so I was gonna memorable say, yeah, I, and cutting edge. The reason to play the game yeah, is He it. killed who? <laughs> everyone. He killed everyone. <laughs> I play Assassin's Creed to climb up buildings and then jump on top of people right. and murder them. Collect yeah. crap. I don't really... Yeah. The story is not really... Oh, so you, who's grandfather? Whatever. Cool. Yeah. But other games, like The Last of Us is a great story, right? Sure, Last of Us was the one that they put out the demo and then they pulled all the cutscenes from it and people were like... In the comments of IGN articles shouting out the ending, and I remember reading it, which oh, God, it really? turned out to be yeah. fake. It was what they were pulling from, but nobody knew at the time. So, yeah. I, but I didn't want to know anything. I read it in like some other article, saw it, and I was like, ah. And then I played the game and immediately forgot about it. Mm. And then when it was ramping up to the end, I was like, oh yeah, is that going to happen? And then it didn't happen. I was like, oh, okay, like it didn't, it didn't ruin the experience for me. It was like I put in the last. Was like, well, I know how this I'm piece so of garbage sick of ends. The, uh, the the spoiler army. I, I just don't care. Like, it, you can be a responsible person and not get spoiled most of the time. Yeah. And if it means that much to you, then, like, change change your ways. Don't oh, go on message boards or read comments. Oh, okay. So you, you don't we, you don't Most made media to companies. People. No, yeah. Like, we, we talk about this all the time. We are so careful with spoilers. And people are always like, oh, you are not being careful enough with your spoilers. Like, yes, we are. We thought about this deliberately, and we're really careful about You're it. You're right. All it the has time. become an alarmist thing that it's, people have an easier reaction to before they even understand. Yeah. There's a, uh, an X-Men advertisement, an X-Men clip during the credits of Spider-Man. Yeah. It's not like a link between the two movies. It's just a clip advertising the X-Men movie during the, common, during the credits for Spider-Man. Yeah. I did a news story on that. Mm. And someone was like, thanks for the spoiler. Yeah. It was like, well, how is it no. a spoiler that there's an X-Men ad at the end of Spider-Man. He's like, yeah. oh, I didn't, I didn't watch the video. I mean, <laughs> can you guys, you guys think of times recently when like something was really spoiled for you besides that Game of Thrones spoiler? Yeah. Like, it just doesn't happen that much. No, I man, I was just going to say the rare. nature of our job, I was going to say the opposite. We should be but, spoiled all the time. Yeah, the nature of our work means that things do get spoiled. For, I've had all kind of Last of Us spoiled for well, you before I played editor. that. I think it's different for you. I mean, I think it's different for anybody at IGN. Like, I had Mass Effect spoiled for me before I played that. It happens a lot, but that's just... I don't know, like, okay. Like, you shake it off. I mean, yeah, games, are more, off. games exactly. are more than the final three minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? More than this character twist. It's playing sure. and getting in oh, cash and learning this. Well and, yeah. So I'm surprised yeah. it doesn't happen more with Game of Thrones. Doesn't, mm. that, doesn't that surprise it's anybody It's every else? day, but I mean, like, it seems like every Monday it's ruined for somebody. No, but that's, that's, yeah. that's no, I'm not talking about, the books have been out years before it's uh, shown on the TV that. show. And so why, how do people that only watch the show manage to avoid, or why aren't there more jerks out there spoiling? Like, people are spoiling Harry Potter and stuff Jerks like that. aren't very literate, so they're not really <laughs> out there trying to read it. I just don't understand where, where all, any of this came from, because when I was a kid, we would talk about the ending of something first. Yeah. And, like, there just wasn't this. This is just not... When I was talking with friends, I would know when, when what they had seen what they had, and I would deal with that. Like, I guess it's just the internet that changed things, but, like, sure. I don't know. I never talked about spoilers ever until, like, 2005. Who the problem cares? Is, the problem is 999,000 people can be nice, and but then one jerk can ruin it for yeah. everyone else. Yeah, sure. It only takes that one so guy. So it's only an internet phenomenon, yeah. which makes it all the more weird when, like, in real life, when we're all dealing with each other and jobs and stuff, people are like, ah, I don't want to hear about it. It's like... It's just, okay. for me, it's Working always the thing of, like, company. not being, like, you're saying it's, like, the spoilerese job to be on the ball about not getting spoiled, right? And, like, the, yeah. d- the day that Game of Thrones was ruined for me, right, was ruined by an email at the end of the day from a random PR company that sent us a giant blast email that had nothing I to do with it. it. PR company. Yeah, and yeah. The, the, the message line w- ruined the Game of Thrones from the night before. But that morning, Darren walked in talking to somebody about Game of Thrones, and I turned on and said, hold on, guys, I haven't seen it yet. I put on headphones yeah, and I went. That's you know all I mean? it, sometimes, it, it, Monday mornings, I have to wear headphones. Yeah, and there was, like, yeah, there was an up at noon where so you took the initiative yeah. and right. saying, like, I'm going to rescind myself instead of shouting right. at the whole office not yeah. to stop exactly. that That's the thing that the internet needs to understand is that you can go blackout, media blackout, on whatever you want. I feel, and I just, but I mean, especially on IGN because we're careful in reviews and stuff to not spoil stuff, Sure, so. and, but I mean, like, and there's people in comments who are being jerks, but then an example for me was when I had Courtney Draper on up at noon for the first time yeah. to talk about Bioshock. 
And she's Elizabeth, if you don't know who she is off the top of your head. Oh! Uh, spoilers! <laughs> but in our interview, which is about Bioshock, which if I was someone on the other side, I'd already be tentative about watching that interview, yep. right? If I haven't played Bioshock. Exactly. But in the interview, I'm like, and it gets kind of awkward when, spoiler alert, and then I ask the question. And so many people are like, you didn't give us enough time, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... All right, well, what do you, I don't know how to do that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I did my best Yeah, what do you there. do? Do you say spoiler alert, and you just sit there for a 30 <laughs> seconds? Yeah. Like, I mean, for me, because I'm thinking on the other side, right, where if I was at my computer working, they're like, spoiler alert, I'd be like, you know yeah. what I mean? Or, eh, like, you know what I mean? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you bla- black it out. Greg's just sitting at his desk. <laughs> 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 anyway, a little bit of responsibility on the spoileries part for would be something sure. I'd appreciate. Sure. And I will not spoil anything for you, I promise.